next section is section 3.5 and it goes over basically the equations of circles but to get there we also need to remember the distance formula and the midpoint formula so if i have any two points a and b i'm going to call the coordinates of point a x1 comma y1 we call the coordinates of point b x2 comma y2 the length of segment AB, I can either write it that way or I could just write the AB without the segment bar and without the L, they mean the same thing, is the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. And if I had a z-coordinate, if I was in three dimensions, I would add a plus z2 minus z1 quantity squared. Um, the way I remember it, it is the square root of the sums of the squares of the change in x and the change in y. That gives you the distance in between two points. So this is distance. The midpoint... is going to, um, oh, excuse me, I want to find the midpoint of AB. All I'm going to do is the X coordinate. I add up the X's and divide by two and I add up the Y's and divide by two. And the next formula we're going to go over is the equation for a circle with a radius of r and its center is at the point h comma k. And that equation is x minus h squared plus open parentheses y minus k squared equals r squared. For example, if I gave you the equation x squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 25, the center is going to be at the point 0, negative 3, and the radius would be five. Um, if I did x plus two squared plus y minus four squared equals six, the center is at negative two comma four, and the radius is the square root of six. So we're going to I'm going to do some problems to help us out here. A lot of times they're not going to um They don't have to be in the form that I wrote them in for it to be a circle, but we can use tools to get them in that form. For example, I want to graph the following circle, x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 10y equals uh, Actually, I'm going to put a plus 22 is equal to zero. What we're going to do here is we are going to complete the square on x's 
and Ys. Okay, what I, my first step is I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to put all the X's together. I'm going to put the 22 over to the other side. I'm going to put all the X's together. I'm going to put the Y's together. So I'm going to have X squared plus 2X um, plus a blank. We're going to fill something in there. Plus Y squared minus 10Y plus a blank. I'm going to move the 22 to the other side. And I'm going to have two blanks here. <coughs> okay. What I need is numbers to go in the blanks. Um, that are going to make these perfect squares. And if we remember from completing the square, I'm going to have x, copy the sign, plus something squared, y, copy the sign, something squared, and I'm going to end up with a final number here. The way I get the number that I'm adding is I'm going to take this number, divide it by 2. That's going to give me this number. I'm going to take this number and square it. That's going to give me a plus 1. I'm going to make that one in purplish. I'm going to add 1 there. For this number, I'm going to divide by 2. That gives me five, negative 5. I'm going to square it. That gets me 25. So what I have here is I have 26 minus 22, which is 4. So what this gives me is my center is at negative 1, 5, and my radius is 2. I'm going to show you how I want you to graph circles. First thing you want to do is you want to plot the center. To plot the center at negative 1, 5. Then you're going to go 2 to the left, right, up, and down. I'm going to go 2 to the right, 2 to the left, 2 up, and 2 down. And then you're going to attempt to draw smooth curves through all of those, and that would be your circle. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> so that's one thing you need to be able to do is you need to be able to complete the square. You come up with the equation of a circle. Another thing I can give you is I can give you two endpoints on a diameter. For example, if I gave you um, negative 5, negative 7, and 1, comma 1 are endpoints on the diameter of a circle, I want the equation of the circle. So, what I need is I need to find the center. The center is going to be at the midpoint of diameter points. So, my center is going to be at 1 minus 5 over 2, comma, 1 minus 7 over 2. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Then 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. 
The other thing I need is I need the radius. The radius is the distance from center to a point on the circle. Okay, I'm going to use these two points. Okay. So my distance, which is my radius, is the square root of 1 minus a minus 2, which would be 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then 1 minus a minus 3 is 1 plus 3, which is 4. 3 squared plus 4 squared, that's 9. My radius is the square root of 25. My radius is 5. I now have all the points to write the equation of the circle. My equation is x, the opposite of the x-coordinate, squared, plus y, the opposite of the y-coordinate, squared, and then the radius squared, which would be just 25. So that should be enough information to get you through the circles part of the homework. I'm splitting the video. I'm going to do the systems of nonlinear equations notes separately, but they're going to be on the same homework assignment.